give me just a moment here to pull up your file. Okay, you haven't been here before? Okay, well, let's go ahead and make a new file then. Uh, just a second here. Okay, um, so since this is your first visit with us, um, just some basic background information that I'd like to get from you. Um, there's some things that are that are mandatory, there's some things that are optional, I'll let you know which is which. And um, for all of this information, just know that um, for this particular research, none of your personal information will be attached to your results. Um, this is just a way of us for knowing um, the kind of populations that we're dealing with, who's responding to these things, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Is that alright with you? Okay, so let me just gather some basic information. Um, some of this stuff will be relevant, some of it will not be, so let's see. Uh, first and last name. Okay. Can I have your date of birth, please? All right. Let's see here. Um, highest education level. Okay. Uh, current occupation, or if you're a student, um, what type of schooling you're in. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Um, let's see here, what else do we need? Not that, not that. Um, okay, um, self-identified gender. So what gender do you identify with? Okay. And um, these ones are optional, but uh, sexual orientation. And uh, race or ethnicity. Well, thank you for sharing that. These are um, helpful details when we're trying to on this test and trying to figure some of those things out. So we appreciate the information there. Um, let's see. So uh, you did tell me on the phone that your main reason for coming in was just to um, hopefully be able to explore yourself a little bit more and get some kind of insight into what might be happening kind of beneath the surface. Is that still the case? Mm -hmm. Good. Let me just drop down some notes really quickly. Um, just some basic stuff about why you're coming in. So, what I'm writing down right now is that you're just looking to gain some insights about yourself and um, facilitate self exploration. Does that sound about right? Okay. Um, these are just some details. You know, this isn't going to be uh, legally binding or anything like that. So. Just having some notes here. All right. Now I think that is all of the information we need to make your file. Go ahead and get that processing. Do you remember when you signed up which test you're coming in for? Was it one or two or three? Okay. So um, what I have here then um, is a few pictures. These are black and white pictures that are printed on paper. And in each of these pictures, you're going to see a scene, and there's going to be people in the scene and something going on in that picture. Uh, now, for each of these pictures, what I need you to do is tell me a story about this picture. So I'll show you the picture, and I just want you to look at it and tell me a story in your own words about what's going on in the picture. Um, a few key things. So remember that every good story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So make sure that when you're telling me the story, you start at the beginning and go through till the end, explaining what happens throughout. Um, there's going to be people in the picture, so I'd like if you could pay particular attention to what the people are thinking or feeling. Um, and at any given point, I might jump in here or there to ask you some clarifying questions or ask you to expand upon something. Completely normal. Um, but other than that, just respond in the way that comes to you freely. Um, there's no length limit. There's no um, you know lower limit. There's no upper limit to how many words you need to say or anything like that. This is your story and uh, that's all we want to hear. And so what this will do for us is that it will help us get an idea of some of the things that are bubbling underneath. This is uh, tapping into some of the more unconscious things that we're not aware of in everyday life. So these are things that um, you know you may not be aware of, or people around you may not be aware of, but we're going to kind of draw them out to the surface and try to understand what's going on there. Okay, any questions about this? Okay. So let me just get everything set up to go ahead and uh, do your responses. What's going to be happening is that I'll show you the pictures and ask you to respond to them. 
and I'll be using my computer here to type what you say exactly verbatim. Okay, so don't feel like any pressure or anything like that to say something right. There's no right answer to this. Uh, but I have to type every single word so that later on we can go back and read word for word what you said so that I'm not misrepresenting or paraphrasing or anything like that. Okay? So if it seems like I'm zoning out a little bit, I'm definitely listening. I'm just trying to transcribe as fast as I can. But don't feel like you need to wait up or uh, give me time to pace myself or anything like that. I can type pretty fast. So um, that should be fine. Okay? So uh, let me get things set up and then uh, we'll get into the test. All right? Okay, so almost ready to begin here. Let me put my space to type your responses into. Okay, and we are. Sorry about that. Okay, we are good to go. So, this will be your first picture to respond to. Can you see that okay? Okay. So when you're ready, just go ahead and tell me um, what happens in this picture. What's going on? Mm -hmm. So, um, what would you say that they're thinking and, and feeling? And um, say five years from now, where, where would you say that they are five years from now? Anything else there? No, oh, that's perfectly great. Okay, so um, that's the idea. Just um, that was great. It responded freely, openly. Um, told me a great story. Had the beginning, middle, and an end. And I jumped in a few places to ask you some questions. Did that feel okay to you? Okay, good. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go into the next picture then, if that's all right with you. Let me get things set up, and we'll just go straight through. Okay. Switching responses here. How about this one? Can you see this one okay? Turn a bit there. there you go. Um, so same thing with this one. Just uh, respond openly and um, at as much length as you would like to. And I'll be writing down your responses. Okay? So whenever you're ready, go ahead and get started.
and what did she come to at that moment? No, that's perfect. You're doing really well. Um, are we good to move on to the last card then? Okay. Once again, just give me a second here. To find exactly what we are looking at. Okay. So this will be our last card to do. This one's a little bit different. Same idea though. This picture here and tell me a story about it. Okay, give me just a sec. Okay, go ahead. What uh, happened before this point? What happens right after this? Mm -hmm. Okay. And in this moment in the picture, what is it that she's that she's feeling? for a second. Okay. Well, great. Thank you so much for participating. Um, this is really helpful for us, and hopefully it could be helpful for you as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just take these results. I'm going to uh, clean up and go through what you said, make sure that it's word for word what you said. Um, and then I'm going to uh, kind of sit with this for a while. I'll look at the pictures. I'll sit with this. I'll combine your responses with what, with what I know about personality and about the unconscious and uh, try to come up with some ideas of maybe what it is that you're experiencing internally that's a little bit hard to uh, express. And I'll reflect that back to you. I'll read back some of your responses and reflect them back to you and uh, just kind of slightly different, slightly rotated, and we'll see if anything sticks. Okay? So come back and um, we'll set you up for an appointment probably about a week or so. Give me some time to sit with this and then uh, we'll go from there, okay? Alright, look forward to seeing you again. Okay, well, 
Um, thank you so much for coming in again. I had some time to sit with your results and um, responses and kind of think about this a little bit. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, kind of give you some feedback and I'll invite some you know, observations from you as well. I, I want to stress to you that you're the expert on yourself and me just kind of being a casual observer. I do know some things about how the mind works, uh, how the unconscious functions and things like that, but um, definitely you're the expert on yourself. So let me know how things resonate with you as we're going along. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to read back your response to you verbatim so you can hear with your own ears kind of what it sounds like, which sometimes uh, tweaks things a little bit just to be able to hear it in somebody else's voice. Um, and then I'll offer some observations and uh, kind of go through that way and then give you some overall general feelings about uh, your responses. Does that sound okay to you? Okay. So, I have your responses here written down. And what I would like to show you first is, um, we'll start with this picture. Okay, so the woman sitting down there by the window, looking out the window there. Um, but you said to this card, this that you said, uh, okay, so this woman has just finished meeting with a group of people. She had gathered, been, she had a gathering of some type. I think it was maybe her birthday. Yeah, her birthday. She just turned 25, and now the weight of everything was just starting to hit her. She had a good time at the party, but was about at her peak before people started leaving. This photo was taken after she had just broken down for a little bit. She wasn't really sure why, but it all became too much. She thought she was surrounded by people who loved her, uh, but she still felt very alone in the crowd, and this is her sitting alone by the window in her apartment, just trying to make sense of her feelings. When I asked you, uh, what did she come to? And you said she came to the realization that she had been on autopilot, that the years have slipped by and it's almost like she's waking up from a coma and not feeling completely oriented. Things are bright and loud and she just can't quite get her footing. She's longing for something to long for, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so that was your response to that one. Um, and I definitely have some thoughts about it and some feelings, but let's go through the other two first. We'll read them all and then we'll kind of come back and talk about what they might mean. Okay. So the next card that I'm going to read is this one. Remember this one? Two people on the train track there. Okay, so for this one you said, okay, so, hmm, this is two best friends embarking on a journey together. They decided that they have had enough with the life that they're living and decided to just up and leave together. The scenery in this picture makes it hard to place exactly where in time it is, so I'm just going to say that it's the present day. It's the present day, but they're trying to do away with their modern, average, boring lives and going on an adventure together. They only have the clothes on their backs and their friendship and are planning on walking along the train tracks until they figure out the next part of their adventure. And I ask you what, what they're thinking and feeling, and you said, one of the guys, the one closer to the middle of the tracks, his mind is racing. He's pretending to pay attention to what his friend is saying, but he can't stop thinking about how terrifying this is, even though it's also thrilling in some way. He's worried about how people at home will react to this sudden disappearance, and at this point is starting to reconsider their adventure. He resolves to follow through, though, however, and he doesn't turn around. The other guy is just happy to finally be spending some real quality time with his best friend. And then I asked you, uh, where are they five years from now? You said they're back in their normal day-to-day -day grind, but I don't think that they might. They went through a change during this adventure that had lasted with them until this day. I don't think that their trip lasted long. Maybe they never had a chance, but they learned something about themselves and something about each other that they now keep with them in every moment. Okay. And then the last card was... This one, the woman standing in the doorway there. And to this one you said, this woman is standing in the entryway of a building where somebody is getting married. It's funny, it kind of brings that one song to mind by the Goo Goo Dolls, Iris. 
and I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand. I think that she's getting some air and hiding out while, th while things blow over inside. There's something different about her that she's afraid of revealing to all of her other guests if she spends too much time in the thick of it, you know. I asked you what happened before. You said, so right before this, she's standing inside dancing around with everybody, and she just feels like she has a buildup of tension. She feels as though there is something about her that is at risk of being revealed. She doesn't feel that she would, that she should have to hide this aspect of herself, but she feels required to in this situation. She steps outside when she feels that she's starting to act strangely. I asked you what happens after. She sees a friend of hers that is sort of like her rock. She runs to him and gives him a hug and suddenly feels grounded, like everything is actually okay, and that it's okay to be different, and a part of everybody else at the same time. She's able to go back inside without anything bad happening, and people hardly even noticed she was outside. And as to what she was feeling, and he said, in this moment she feels like she doesn't want to be seen as a fraud, that everything she's been working so hard for, uh, and this part of herself is at risk of breaking before everybody's eyes. So, very, very, really awesome responses, very interesting stuff. Um, there's a couple central themes that kind of really stuck with me um, and, and really hit home as I read through these. Um, the first of which really was highlighted in the, f the first response with the window, the staring uh, window card. And that's when you said that um, everything is just kind of starting to hit this, this girl in this picture, that everything is just starting to catch up with her. Uh, that things are bright and loud and it's kind of like an assault on her senses and she can't find her footing and she needs to take a second to kind of reorient herself. Um, this this carried a lot of weight to it for me um, and I wonder if maybe you're kind of in that position right now where uh, kind of like when you're driving driving to work or to school and you realize that you have no idea what happened in the entire ride on the way there you just know that you got there and you can't really think of it I'm wondering if that's what life is kind of feeling like to you right now like everything has happened so quickly but you haven't really felt present in that moment um, but at the same time there's something kind of creeping up from underneath there's a there's a thread going through uh, an aspect of yourself that's that you feel aware of but you feel like like you're not justified in, in having that piece of you or that you what's the word for it that you there's for some reason it feels like you but you don't see that in other people and you feel different so in some ways it seems that you feel mm, apart but also apart if that makes any sense so you feel like you are uh, one of everybody else and you exist in a world with people that you love and that you care about but something feels different about you and you have lived with that for a long time and now it's that that undercurrent is kind of starting to press against you and starting to try to break through into your kind of uh, conscious awareness and that's a difficult thing to deal with um, some other thoughts that I had, um, I'm wondering if there might be somebody in your life that's, that's, um, that's become a more important figure recently, that, um, the person that was on the walk, the person in the third picture that was the grounding kind of character, I'm wondering if there's somebody like that in your life, if that there's somebody that you've been, uh, maybe reluctant to share yourself with, but any time that you have, it's been very rewarding, and you've uh, been able to find that you can be yourself, and you have uh, more of a connection to that other piece of you that you've, until now, kind of been uh, partitioning off to the side. And I wanted to stress to you that uh, that kind of partitioning off uh, of parts of ourselves is something that we all do, and it's, it can be healthy to an extent to be able to get through our lives and be able to function normally, but taken too far, it can be, uh, we can be missing a part of ourselves, and we can really feel that we're missing a part of ourselves, and so we get to where we're going, or wherever the heck we are, and we're like, oh shit, something's missing here, so 
Does that kind of sound similar to what you might have been experiencing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the other note in, in these responses is, is that you're, you want some change. You want something to change, and you're looking for something new. But this whole time you've been working on something else, and it's very scary to want to... Uh, it feels like you have to shift gears and that to engage in something new in this way is to abandon all of that other work that you put in, the things that people have invested in you, and the just what you've built up around yourself. Um, and it's scary, understandably so. Um, but what I, would, I would encourage you to consider the possibility that you can, uh, instead of thinking about the but, think about the and, right? So. Um, you want something different, a new adventure, some change, but you have all of these other things. Mm -hmm. I would encourage you to just change that language slightly and say, and. So, I want a new adventure, I desire change, and I want something new for myself. And I have this other realm that I've built up around myself that still exists. Right? So the two can coexist. And you always have options. I know we're getting a little bit, a little bit deep here, but um, that's kind of the nature of these things. It's really, uh, it's a really great test because it it dives deep and kind of pulls up things that you wouldn't really be talking about casually otherwise. Okay, so those are my observations. Um, I wanted to encourage you to to think about these a little bit more. You know, sit with these for a bit yourself and and feel out what these mean to you. Um, I highly encourage you that if you feel the need to talk about these things, so these concepts that are brought up and are kind of turning around in your brain, it'd be really great, you know, sometimes to have somebody to process this with. We definitely have other professionals in the building that would be more than welcome to and very happy to explore these issues with you on a regular basis. And uh, assessments like this can really be a great uh, kickstarter for those sorts of conversations. So just consider that, you know, um, and at the least, uh, I encourage you to think about these as you go home and kind of wrestle with this a bit. These are complicated issues, and uh, you know I don't have all the answers for you, and you don't have all the answers for you. So just think about these things. Take some of what I said to heart and throw some of it out as you see fit. Um, and keep in mind that assessments like this of your personality are they're a snapshot. Okay, so they're not a movie. This is a picture. This is you on the day that you tested with the context, everything being exactly as it was on that day. Um, and it's just a snapshot. So things change, things shift, so you, you know, they ebb and flow. Uh, but this is you. So just think about that. And if you have any questions after I give you the formal report that has my, you know, formal observations in it, um, just let me know. Give me a call and we can talk about it again. Okay? It's been really great working with you. I really, really appreciate your help. Okay, bye.